Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Pro Tips. This week we'll be talking about what to look out for when you're cupping for filtered coffees. Now if you've watched our first episode, we talk about the dry fragrance being the most important thing. This still holds true especially for filtered coffees because it gives you an insight into the potential of the coffee. If the taste and the dry fragrance is very far apart, so if you're scoring the dry fragrance, maybe an 8 to a 9, it's really complex, really sweet, really flavorful. But the taste is very far from that. It's maybe at a 7 or 7.5, there's a huge one point difference. Then chances are it's something tied to the roast. There's probably something you can do to the roast to improve the cupping experience. Now when it comes to filtered coffee, the second most important thing that we want to look out for is the quality of the acidity. Now this is really tricky. If you've watched some of our previous episodes, we talked about how the cupping parameters affect the quality of the acidity to a great extent. So bearing that in mind, make sure you understand what are the cupping parameters you're cupping at and how it affects the acidity before you go on to assess the quality of the acidity. Okay? Now when it comes to assessing the quality of acidity, we need to understand the difference between acidity and sourness. They are not the same. So an example of good acidity is a soda. When we drink sodas like Coke or Pepsi, we don't find that it's sour even though the acidity level of the drink is very high because it's very sweet. But at the same time, those drinks are very refreshing, sparkly and lively. That is good acidity and that is what we want to find in our coffee. Some example descriptors of good acidity are lively, clean, refreshing and sparkly. You want to have this high level of vibrancy the key word here is vibrancy of the acidity. That is good acidity. When the acidity is not so good, it can have a tinge of sourness even though it's lively and refreshing. That just means that the acidity has not been properly refined either through the roast or the cupping parameters might not showcase the acidity to its best extent. So sometimes during the cupping session, we might ignore that little bit of sourness because we understand it could either come from too coarse a grind size or an underdeveloped roast. But if for the majority of the experience, it is quite clean and structured, then you know that you have something good in your hands. Bad acidity, on the other hand, will result in a dull, flat and boring coffee. If you find your coffee is uninteresting and it's not complex, it doesn't give you a refreshing experience, then you know that the quality of the acidity is not that high and there is a limited potential to what this coffee can present as a filtered coffee. All right, that's it for this week's pro tips. If you're enjoying it, please click the subscribe button below. Let us know what you think. Give us a comment. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.